stage by Paul Green, his baby boy came into the world this morning. Yes. 
so much fun. So what was it like working on that one? Open by Christmas? Yeah. Um, it, it was it was it was amazing. I mean Alice is sweet, I've, I've known her but I've never had a chance to work with her and, and Erica Duras was a great love story um, friend. It was like a love story between two friends, which I found really interesting. And, um, and it was a little out of the box a little different, which which I found really fun and uh, it was lovely. Just any anytime you do a Hallmark movie, it's just you just feel good when you do it. And that's why you keep doing it. I just love it. They're great. The fans, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Crossword mysteries, like you should bear. Are we going to be seeing any more of those in the new year? I certainly hope so. Uh, you know, like Lacey said, we love to everybody here. I just want to make sure I talked to her yesterday and she wishes she could be here and she loves you all. And, and we'll be working together again soon. So I'm excited to know more of those. Awesome. I can't wait. Well, I'm going to turn it over to all of you. So there are some mics out here in the audience. Feel free to start lining up. And we also have a mic that can come to you if you can't get to one of the ones that are standing. But um, while we're waiting for some people to line up, I'd just love to hear, like, how has it been, like, meeting so many of the fans this weekend? And what's what sort of been your favorite part? I don't know if one of you wants to start. Aubrey wants to tackle that one. <laughs> I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time and for allowing me and all of us here to see the faces of all the people that are touched by the movies and the shows that we're a part of, and it just means so much to get to meet you all, and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed with all the love and all the, the light and the joy that everyone is bringing, so it just makes me so grateful to, to be here, so thank you. Thank you. The opportunity to connect with you all, like really truly connect, there's been such amazing moments here, and I know we only get such a brief period of time, but every one of the interactions matters. It means something. I'm going to take all of you home with me in my heart. It feels amazing. Thank you so much for what you've given to all of us this weekend. Has anybody gotten any fun gifts yet? Say that again, tall guy? Yeah. How did how did you get tall guy? And how did he get tall guy in here? I mean, I don't know. I'm not very tall. Should <laughs> <laughs> have been like handsome guy for Drew and like his slightly less attractive cousin Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew didn't know the answer either, so we're like, how is it tall guy? Is yeah, we don't know how that got credited. That was a really strange day for both of us. So. Not a lot of conversations went into those deep, deep characters. <laughs> I love you, Lori. Thank you so much. Hi, Lori. Great question. Hi, what's your name? What's your question? Uh, Jennifer. Uh, my question is actually for all of you. So, the Christmas movie, is it your favorite one? And then, kind of put together a lot of interesting combinations. Is there somebody that you guys have wanted to work with but haven't yet? Ren and Ellie. I'm the one who purchases all the tiny shirts, actually. <laughs> Brendan and I worked together on a show a while back, and I don't know if you know how much of a legend this man is. Between me and my friends, we talk about him daily. We follow what not to do. What's that? What not to do. <laughs> we follow it up on Instagram, and we, and we look forward to the day that we get to spend time, because this man is truly, truly a treasure. And I'm so happy that I get to be on the same network with him in and around this man. I'm so happy to hang out with him. I feel the exact same way. What about you guys? Is there anybody that you want to work with that you haven't? Um, you know, I actually worked with Cindy and Tyler on a wedding march movie about two years ago. So um, it's, it's just been to be able to, I know some of you know that franchise of movies. Um, that I do with Joseph Sip, but 
I, 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 probably 10 actors that are here this week have all cycled through that franchise. So I've, I've actually had the opportunity to work with so many of the actors here today that I have no desire to work with anyone else anymore. <laughs> good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. I gotta say, if there is another traveling sisterhood situation, I'm available. Yeah, we're together. Yeah, we're together. We were the evil ones. Well, as evil as it gets, I guess. <laughs> I want to see Tyler and Brennan do a movie together because there's some amazing comedy duo happening over here. <laughs> Well, um, Santa might be bringing some cold 
you're stalking me. I'm just kidding. Um, just kidding. Yeah, this, this, this is a naughty question. That's why. Yeah. We're on the same page. Okay. Good. Um, well, that's a great question. Um, you know, I think. Uh, I think let's ask something about. Maybe no comment. Movie. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No comment. We'll just have to keep. We'll, we'll wonder. We'll keep There's a man of mystery. You're a man of mystery. I like that. I never tell. I keep it a secret. <laughs> Well, thank you, Ava. Thanks for asking. Yes, I am. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to shoot it. I think it's going to be Destination Honeymoon, and we're going to try to shoot it in the end. So but thank you for the lovely question. Thank you, honey. Cindy just said she's also available to get <laughs> Um, throughout on Hallmark because I mean, you've produced it, you're in it, I mean, it's, it's yours. How has that felt to do so many of those movies? You know, that's, thank you for asking, but people ask me, you know, what, what what's your bucket list? What, you know, what do you, would you like to do? And it's like, I'm doing it, you know, to, to work in this franchise and, and to be able to be on One Calls of Heart for possibly 10 seasons next year. It looks like we'll get picked up again. So that, you know, I think I can speak for the actors out here that when you when you work in a community, and Cindy said the word community, and Tyler used it, you know, when you work in a community that, that is, is kind of friendly, we're all kind of friendly, you know, just like this weekend, you know, you get to meet us, we get to meet you, and that's, this is what we like to work with, you know, we're not in trouble, uh, we enjoy the material, and we really work hard, you know, we really like what we do, so it's a real pleasure that you guys support us like this, and, you know, and back to you, like, like Autumn said, thank you very much. One time I showed up on my cousin-in-law's movie and I gave him a drink. <laughs> he probably didn't appreciate that, but then he came on mine and he was saying. Andrew Walker played a trick on me, played a prank on me on the last movie. They were, it was getting dark. Okay, we were filming outside in an area where there was rumored to be bears and it was getting dark and I was crossing this meadow and he hid behind a tree and jumped out at me. Because I have no chill whatsoever. <laughs> oh. And then he got in trouble after that, did he? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Anyone else, huh? No. Just, just easy people. I mean, the only thing I can think of is mostly just when I was working with Tyler on Wedding March, I tripped a lot. Remember the carpets? <laughs> and every time I would trip, he would literally be, I'd turn around and be right there and be like, wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'm, just, I'm like Bambi. <laughs> Her toes were magnets for everything on the ground. <laughs> Great question, Harper. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, I love that. What about you over here? Uh, hi, I'm Denise, and I have a question for Jack Wagner. I'm a big party, and I'm a huge fan of Bill Avery. He is eminently quotable um, and so charming. Can you give any kind of hint? And could you just please say, Molly? <laughs> could you please say Molly? Molly? She likes when you say Molly's name. Molly. Did <laughs> <laughs> that do it for you? I hope that. <laughs> Molly. Any hints? Any hints? You mean, Molly. is Bill going to shag Molly this year? Is that <laughs> We're not in the Hallmark Channel right now. It's getting spicy. It's spicy honey. It's spicy honey. It's getting spicy in here. I just want to know if Tyler's single. <laughs> no. I want to know if you're taking off your red surge. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to be peeling off some clothes this year on my nose. There's a lot of layers, though, so it's different. <laughs> That romance was, has been so awesome last season, so I'm very excited to see 
Seymour. Yeah, it's been really great. Okay, what about over here? Hi. Hi, my name is Hannah. Um, I enjoy all of you in many, many fabulous films, and I think you all have such excellent comedic energy and comedic timing. So I was wondering if you could share, do you improv? Do you stick to the script? Kind of how do you approach every one of these really awesome, super funny scenes that you guys have delivered? The improv. Per personally, I usually don't share that just because the writers put so much love into what they do. I feel it's uh, I feel like I'm taking credit away from them. That being said, um, obviously our job is to try to do the best we can with the moments that we have, and sometimes that demands Brendan Elliott going off the handle and losing his mind. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, the writers are so great. I mean, if you're in a scene with somebody who's wonderful and you're connected, and the improv happens. And it's, it's, it's organic and it feeds the material that's already playing on the page. That it sometimes happens, but um, the writers are so great that you know, we don't need to do that often. But sometimes we have fun. And it's, if it happens organically, great. But, you know, it's not planned. So, yeah. Great question, actually. I'll speak to that because I, I think uh, you've been working with Cindy and Tyler. Comedy quite often isn't on the page. Sometimes it is, but I think. I usually collaborate and run the lines, you know, and that's what we, we all do. And sometimes you find things that aren't on the page, and the director sees it, and you just have to go with it. So for me, most of the comedy, speaking to Bill Avery, usually isn't on the page. And it's usually about kind of working through scenes with other actors and trying to bring in a little more lightheartedness and comedy to it, which I think humanizes the characters. You know, they want to see them make mistakes. We want to see each other kind of laugh at one another. And I think that's what brings the audience into the rom-coms that we all do on, on the Hallmark Channel. And, and uh, that's how I like to work it anyway, to kind of find it with the other actors and the director. Yeah, and, and I think that there's also something to be said about when you're falling in love and you're dating someone and you have feelings for someone. It's a little bit awkward and like you can bring that, that feeling to the situation with your face or gestures and it's the nuances like you said that aren't on the page so you stay true to the line and then sometimes you know the director will be like okay this one's for you just have fun with it and then you know you never know what will come out by just being in the moment and listening to your your scene partner and uh, yeah that's always fun that's a great question thank you thank you and what about over here um, hello, my name is Brenda, and this is for Audrey. It's not a question. Um, my husband gift. I'm right here. <laughs> I was looking over there. <laughs> my husband gifted me this beautiful um, weekend experience for my special birthday, and he has a very big special birthday coming up. If you could just say happy birthday to Steve, he's like, would we forget it all over it? He's like, make sure you're in the front row for Audrey. No blurry pictures in the back. So could you just is somebody yes. filming? Do you want to take out your camera? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Happy birthday, Steve! <laughs> Thank you very much. That was so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. You guys are so cute. Oh, I love that. I love your love. What would be your career right now? Mountain guide. Guide people on guided hikes in the wilderness. I'd be a Dr. Phil. <laughs> I would be Dr. Phil's assistant. Um, I would honestly, I'd be an organizer. I love organizing. That's as interesting as it gets. Come over to my house, Cindy, please. I'd probably be a construction worker. <laughs> and I'd probably be the one being uh, analyzed by Dr. Phil. <laughs> so we need a Dr. Phil movie, is what we need, right? <laughs> We've been watching all weekend. Um, <laughs> We're showing all weekend. And real quick, Tyler, my husband, has the biggest crush on you. <laughs> 
You must make a good man. You made the right choice. This is my goal. The more husbands I can get to watch the movies with you guys, then I've succeeded. <laughs> can I just say very quickly that this whole event has been truly ridiculously enjoyable for myself, and I, I, I can imagine everybody else. Absolutely. I know we've all been in our own little tunnels having conversations, but there is no shortage of warmth and love in this place. And I cannot tell you how much the things that you guys share with us, the feeling that we can see in your eyes, that this enters our souls, and I am quite certain it enters our sets as well. I know that when I, when I make these movies now that I've done a few, and you guys have welcomed me into your guys' homes, that there isn't a conversation that I've had with somebody that doesn't somehow find its way into what I'm doing on set. And I mean that in a practical way, not just in like a beautiful way. I mean that, you know, these moments that you guys share with me, they, they truly find their way into, into me and into these characters. So I thank you very much for that. It's a gift that I, I am very, very grateful for. So much love. <laughs> Feeling all the feels. It's so great. Awesome. Okay, what about you? Hi. Watch 
your Hallmark movies. Do you I really watch your Hallmark movies? Movie? My kids do watch my Hallmark movies. Actually, to go back to that question about Christmas, I was raised we put up the Christmas tree a couple weeks before Christmas. But since I've had kids, my wife is now a Hallmark fan. I came home from filming and my Christmas tree was up for Halloween. <laughs> so I walked in and she was like, Merry Christmas! And I was like, yeah, okay, I guess we're having it through months only. So, um, and my kids do watch it and they love it. And they, that, that's the beauty of it. And I, what Tyra said, I mean, the entertainment that we, we get a chance to, and what Jack said, we get a chance to work on is, we all know that it's, touches you as fans and you enjoy it and that's why we love doing it. But being here and looking at you guys and seeing your eyes and your stories, it just makes me so proud to be a part of this family this community to be able to share that kind of content with you. And, and our kids can watch it. I'm sure your kids and grandkids can watch it. And it's because it's entertaining to walk away fluid. And I think in this world we need that. So yeah, my kids watch. They don't like everything I do. <laughs> Meaning me in the movie. <laughs> like the movies a lot, so, yeah. My kids do not like my movies a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have shared them and they have complained about the lack of explosions and the fact that there are no superheroes. <laughs> I have eight and ten-year-old boys. <laughs> and do y'all watch your own movies? Do any of you watch your own movies? I, I watch them, yeah. I want, I want to see, not really my work as much, but just see the, the entire collaboration that we worked on for a month and, and watching everyone's really hard work come together. And what something I highly recommend is to watch all of um, the names that come, the credits in the end, to give that respect because it's not just us right here that um, make these movies happen, it's a lot of other people. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I feel like watching them and I, I love seeing all my friends be in them too. It's fun. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. I love that bright necklace right there, Michelle. Go ahead. Hi. Um, hi. I'm Maureen from Ohio. Hi, hey, Maureen. Oh, I'm from Ohio. Um, and I have a question for Tyler. JD was such a different character for you. Very, not that you weren't funny in other movies, but very funny. A lot of the humor was very physical. Did you find that fun, interesting, challenging? Thank you, Maureen. Um, well, when Joy threw the cup of water up my nose, I almost drowned. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Uh, when I dressed up as a unicorn, I got shot in the face with a uh, confetti cannon. Yeah, that was pleasurable as well. And I've seen that people br have brought like a plush unicorn. Oh, plenty, yes. Yes. Okay. Sparkle pony. Yes, it, it, it was it was fun doing all that that stuff in that movie. I think it turned out um, fairly well. So myself walking around as a unicorn all day was well worth it. Thank you. Love Thanks, Maureen. Love you. Okay, and I think we have time for two more questions. We'll go over here and then we'll be the last one. Go ahead. Film that you would like to be in that is not Christmas? A holiday film that's not Christmas? Or just yeah, a film any that's not Christmas? Any film around, around a holiday that's not Christmas. What other holiday? You mean like Halloween? <laughs> yeah. Or... Nightmare Before Christmas. Done. Love that. <laughs> that yeah, count? I like I that. Know. I love it. That's fun. Or yeah, there's East. The spring movies are sort of like maybe Easter y a little bit too, or because there's a lot of seasonal movies too, which are fun. So maybe is there a season that you like to work in um, that you like? Or I, I like fall. Yeah. <laughs> fall movies are so fun too because they're just like cozy and happy. Yeah. I, I like that. I love to do a movie around the water slides. I love water slides. I know that's weird, but <laughs> so random. <laughs> so specific. This will never happen. Think of the insurance issues that are going on. Summer could be for you, Cindy. I love that. I love it. Yes. Autumn. Do you have luck or? Jack, you got anything? Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I can't save Cindy here. <laughs> it's not a holiday, but I do remember when I graduated high school, I was so excited to leave. And then my dad said, but now it's time to get a real job. And I just wanted to celebrate not having to be in high school anymore because it was, felt like so long. So anything around graduating something or achieving something. And Ann Wilder starring Brenda. Yeah, I just, I was, yeah, those are funny movies. Just whenever you, you, you put your heart and soul in and you achieve something and you get to you know, celebrate it, it's a holiday for me. So something like that. I love that. Okay, and our final question here. Shawla, you're killing it. Oh, yes, she is. Let's hear it for all of you. I'm Shannon from New York. Um, ladies, you all look gorgeous. Gentlemen, you look handsome. Thanks for all the joy you bring to our lives, really. Thank you, Shannon. Um, I'm curious if there's anything that you could share with us that maybe we wouldn't know, like some sort of funny fact from being on set. I know you do a lot of the movies like in the summertime, things like that. I know they're also shot really, really quickly. So I'm just curious if there's anything you can share about your prep or things that maybe would be fun that we don't know about. Um, there's always a conversation about breath before we kiss each other. <laughs> well, we know how you solve that. What's that? The two. Yeah, this is part of the equation. You're right. They are mint flavored. Now some of them are whiskey flavored, thanks to a couple of lovely people here today. <laughs> But yeah, that's always an interesting conversation. Uh, the breath. Do we have this conversation, Cindy? Was, I don't know why like, he's looking at me. <laughs> Besides Brendan, you're the only one I've kissed. Uh, yeah, there's, there's breath conversations. Um, I don't know why sometimes on set they always have onions and garlic and stuff. Like, what's up with that in the food? I mean, I like it, but you know, it lingers. Um, how, yes, you are correct, Tyler Heinz. We have breath conversations. Breath conversations. Craft services, fantastic place to hang out. My favorite, anyway. Craft Check. services is what's, what gives us our snacks and our food. So everybody's always a fan of this. <laughs> Jack, what is it like working with Josie? Do you guys have any fun stories from the Morning March movies? Um, I, I play pranks on her all the time. I'm always taking videos of her when she's not looking, and I post them, and I post them. But I want to talk just a little bit about, Cindy said something earlier that I think you guys might find interesting, is when we do shoot seasonal movies, like Christmas movies in the summer, it's really, you guys would never believe what we go through with trying to create snow when it's 80 degrees out, and putting the white, what is that stuff called? White the white blankets? Yeah, yeah, the blankets, white blankets, and we'll, we'll have coats on and we're sweating and our blanket is all wet, but we do that for you. <laughs> Go. And we are so happy that you did that for us. I mean, clearly, we love these movies. We love what y'all do so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The movies this season have been amazing. Thank you. You've and been thanks amazing. to all of thank you. you so um, Cheers, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.